Groundhog's Day in Puxatawney, there's Phil. In Staten Island, there's Chuck. In Nassau County lives another groundhog who moonlights as a weather forecaster. Meet Malvern Mel. I'm looking for his shadow. It could not be seen. So I am pleased to announce that it will be an early spring. Responses to the Woodchuck's predictions varied from the pleased. I'm really happy about that because I like going out of town and playing out of I can't really do that in the winter. To the relieved, like Malvern's mayor, Patricia Norris McDonald. I think that obviously nobody could see their shadow this morning with the fog and everything. And um, especially after the couple of uh, months of uh, bad weather that we've had, I think people are looking forward to an early spring. I know I certainly am. To the slightly disappointed son of Samantha McKevitt. We had so much fun. This is such a great event, although my son, who's six, was a little disappointed with Mel's prediction. He wanted more snow. The mayor says Mel's shadow is usually a good indicator of the six weeks that follow. Mel's predictions have been percentage-wise spot on compared to a lot of the other groundhogs around the area. Perhaps not this year. A day later, a storm dumped eight inches onto Long Island. But it's not really about Mel seeing his shadow. I like the music. I like that they have the petting zoo for the kids. It's really nice. I think you see all the people that come out I mean, on a Sunday morning where I know I would rather be in bed, you know, like most people, but just to have the whole community out. It's about people seeing each other. In Malvern, Mike Fallon, Long Island Report.